there this is Deborah and believe it or not this is take two of this video the first video completely cut off I thought I had it all done and I looked and there was no footage so I'm gonna give it another go here but this time I'm gonna try to keep my eyes on it so I can see what's going on that little tag just basically shows that I weigh the soap before and afterwards and I date it to know when this is ready even though I have it on paper I like when I put the soap away to have it now this one here is the uh, blackberry and sage and like I said this is the second take here <laughs> so like Let's do this all over again so we can get it right this time because there was no footage there. Uh, this is a really uh, lot of lather here in this soap. And uh, it has the embeds and they don't come off. Everything is pretty intact there. Actually, uh, the embeds, I actually used them as an effoliants earlier. <laughs> this has a lot of nice lather to it. It feels so good. I'm just... Like I said, this is my second time around getting this video to act right. So my hands is just super, super clean. <laughs> and they still feel good. There's no dryness whatsoever. Now this is kind of a, I don't know, medium-sized bubbles here. You could actually get way more bubbles than what I'm trying to get here. It's just, I'm just basically showing you some, some bubbles. If you can't kept going with it, you could have a lot of bubbles there. It feels really good. And that's what really count about having a good soap is that your skin don't be all dried out after you use it. Now this is my banana pie. <laughs> banana pudding should I say. It has um, embeds there. These are Belton Point embeds as you can see the banana and the uh, wafer. And uh, this is a really cute soap. It's a fun soap actually. It lathers up really really good. Uh, it smells good and actually I don't know why it has such a nice smell because this is an unscented soap here <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's all in my head or what but it does smell like bananas believe it or not so you tell me hmm I don't know why it smells like that but it smells so good and it has nice lather and it feels nice and creamy and I just love making these soaps because they feel so good. And that's why I really like putting really good properties, really good oils and butters in this soap so that you can get this nice feeling and your skin doesn't feel dry or anything. Everything just feels so nice and moist, you know, it just feels really good. <laughs> so, wow, I love my own products. Yes, I do. I, I, I'm, a true, I'm a true fan. <laughs> now, this is actually a pumpkin, with real pumpkin puree, pumpkin soap. And uh, it did get a little bit darker than the picture when it started out. And actually, the top of it, I've been using it for an effoliant. Believe it or not, <laughs> it effoliates your skin really good. <laughs> and um, it feels really good. Now, this is a really, really, and it smells amazing. It smells just like pumpkin. I don't have a lot of these bars left. And I thought, well, since, you know, the holidays are over to have that pumpkin smell. <laughs> I'm probably just going to give a few away to family and friends and um, I did pack up some stuff for my charity program so that's all taken care of there. Uh, like I said, this feels really good. I'm just so excited and so happy to be able to use some really good uh, oils and butters and the soaps uh, so I can get this nice feeling and you can too. I mean this feels really good. Your skin doesn't feel dry or anything and I know it just really feels nice and creamy. Let's see, now this one is patchouli. If you are, this is a patchouli for patchouli lovers, as you can see. Now if you like patchouli, you're gonna love this cause this is the real 70 smell. Some people don't like that much smell of patchouli, but I do and I have a lot of friends. <laughs> I guess we just ex hippies that tells you how old we are <laughs> that loves patchouli. I remember in the 60s and the 70s, you know, having patchouli around, I love patchouli. So I really made, this is a really, really nice patchouli bar with a lot of nice butters and oils. It makes it feel really good. And it has a not, lot of lather. Uh, actually, you could use this as a shampoo bar because it really lathers up really, really nice. And it has the right amount of castor oil to actually do the job as for as a shampoo bar. So this, <laughs> I'm like a big kid here. Like I said, this is the second time around with the video. so. I'm kind of playing now, just having a good old time. But uh, the first video, my hands feel good, and this is the second time around, and they still feel good. 
so I'm all jazzed up about that <laughs> okay this is my um, little watermelon soap here as you can see the picture from it uh, it has some uh, poppy seeds in the front of it so I've been using it as an exfoliant soap so it works out really good it has some little in beds there so uh, it feels really good on the skin the little poppy seeds there yeah and uh, it smells good too. smell just like watermelon now I don't have this on the website because I actually sold out but I kept a few bars so that I can show you how they work and how they lather up I will be making some more of these pretty soon oh it just feels good all my bars are so pretty much has that same feeling to it I don't have any bars of soap that's gonna dry you out they're all gonna really make your skin feel really good this is a nice creamy one I think the next time I make this watermelon soap I'm gonna make it a lot bigger <laughs> because my customers really bought it all it's like you have any bigger bars no but I will do I will make the design different the next time but I will keep that same concept because I really like that boy that really feels good it smells good I, the kitchen smells just like I don't know perfume it just smells amazing in here <laughs> That was a really nice bar. I hope I don't show the same bars over. Now this bar was a custom bar for uh, one of my customers and I have a few left over. We used it as um, for one of the teams. It has a yellow and the black is uh, charcoal. So this is a really dark soap. As you can see, it's a really huge big bar of soap. This soap is anywhere from 10 to 11 ounces. So this is a big bar of soap. And this is actually a manly soap. It has a uh, masculine uh, fragrance to it but I have sold this same fragrance oil in a soap before and I had a lot of females to buy it <laughs> they thought it smelled pretty good so I you know I'm saying masculine but whoever wants to buy it after they smell it I guess get to go but anyway it was basically made for the guys uh, like I said I usually with this this bar soap I usually send out a washcloth a black washcloth because I would say use dark washcloths anytime you have something with charcoal in it or dark colors so that you don't, you know, get your uh, washcloths. You know, even though you can wash it out, you still, it's just good to use a dark cloth. So with the activated charcoal, I usually send uh, a black washcloth out to my customers. That's kind of my thank you. Now this is a tea tree uh, soap. And as you can see the design, it was <laughs> the design was like, what is this? Is it a cow? Is it a lizard? What the world is this with like little things on it? But anyway, this was a really neat swirl. Now, this soap here was specially made for my husband. He wanted um, a tea tree soap, something antiseptic uh, for his hair. And uh, it has a lot, a lot of big bubbles and he really loves it. And I love it too. It had that really strong tea tree smell and uh, it just works really good for him it's really good for a lot of things but you know I'm not claiming that my soap heal anybody or do anything to do anything other than feel good on the skin because I'm not trying to get in trouble here but you know if you check the um, if you look up tea tree oil and different things what they're good for you're gonna find out that they have a lot of amazing healing properties now I'm not saying my soap heal you but I'm saying what I found out about it so if you look it up you would see that you know adding tea tree into your soaps and activated charcoal and uh, nice um, essential oils it's gonna really help the help the cause let's put it that way <laughs> but this has a lot of leather and it was specially designed as as um, a shampoo bar but you can also use it for the body because it has all those wonderful properties and it feels good also. I don't know, I just try to make soap that's gonna feel good to the skin, soap that feels good on me. If it feels good on me, I know it's gonna feel good on others because uh, I'm not gonna make anything that's gonna be drying you out. And most handmade soaps are really good for that unless you get one as strictly made to uh, for other things. You know, maybe it won't be, it would be a little more drying. I'm not sure. But there are soaps for different things. But most of my soaps are uh, for facial and body. And I do have like the black activated charcoal is good for some other things too. We won't say all the things they're good for. You just have to research and see. But I'm sure you probably already know if you use handmade products, handmade soaps and stuff. 
Oh, this is really feeling good. I have played in this water for the last hour trying to get this video to stop cutting off. So I'm super clean here today. <laughs> I, my hands are so clean and they're still not dried out. My skin still feel nice and moist. Uh, my inside of my hands are pretty clean too. <laughs> Oh, this has been a clean, clean day. Oh my goodness, what a clean day it has been. And it smells good. Look at my hands. They're just really, <laughs> they're really clean there. I really, like I said, this was take two. And I thought if I got to do a take three, it ain't going to work. Okay, so you see how clean there. <laughs> and it, everything still feel nice and moist. It don't feel dry at all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll come back again to check out the next video. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm talking to you out there. Have an awesome and a blessed day. Bye-bye now. Take care.